So welcome back to the channel. What do I got going on today? Well, I got to thinking, men and wife, we want to go camping, we want to go fishing, but I only got one truck or one vehicle that would pull the boat because the original tow pig, if you can see it out there, has had a broken brake line for a while. We was always talking about getting Kyle, finish up Kyle's truck, finish up Kyle's truck, and we just use it to pull the boat. But I was like, I need to get this one running because it's going to make an appearance more often on the channel now that I've got to clean up this mess over here. So I need something to haul all the garbage in, just toss stuff in it. The truck's 2002, the bed on the inside. The wife, she's got one of those water softeners that takes salt. She left a couple bags of salt in the bed and it's, it's rusting pretty bad. I'm gonna have to have to sand that out and treat that salt infested rust that's in there. So what we gotta do? Well, before I get started, like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for coming back to the channel. I know it's been a while, but hey, let's see if we can make some videos. But uh, we gotta drop the gas tank because the, the broken brake line is right behind the gas tank in the frame rail. And I wanted to cut it and just pull the line out behind the gas tank and then slide it back in and use the um, compression fittings on both ends just to fix the brake line. Well, lo and behold, the brake line looks like it makes some the bends in behind there. And I'm pretty sure those are clipped into the, the frame. They got these metal clips that clip the lines in there. So I can't get it out. So what I'm gonna try to do, because it's got a half tank of diesel in it, uh, is put cargo straps on the frame, bust the tank loose from the, the, the straps and hang it on the cargo straps, ratchet straps, and push it away just enough to get the line out between the tank and the frame. So hopefully my crazy idea about just doing that will work and it won't take long. It looks like the only thing that's holding the, the it looks like 14 millimeter bolts that hold the actual gas tank in. So hopefully I can get it out just enough to slide it. Like I said, I just want to move it over enough so when I cut the line from end to end, and hopefully once I get that line fixed, there ain't no other line that once it, it receives pressure, it blows out another line. Because it's just the main line going down the rail that goes to the rear brakes, so it's only one. We'll get out here, we'll get crawled in underneath the, the truck, and we'll start taking it apart. So somewhere is up in this part of the frame, you can see where it's run down the gas tank and stained the side of the gas tank. The brake, the, the fluid, the line's broken right in here. So I'm gonna take these bolts out right here, this takes the skid plate down. That's the actual strap for the tank. And then I'll hang the cargo straps, ratchet straps from here. Back there somewhere is maybe off the leaf, off the leaf spring or something so it'll hold the weight of the tank so I can just push it over out of the way. So what I'm hoping, cargo straps, ratchet straps, impact guns, and just a box of impact sockets and hopefully I can get all this. Oh, I probably should have some glasses on. scared me. I thought it was just spinning the whole nut plate. Okay, over here. I think I'll leave a little bit of a gap in it so it can kind of like fall into the strap. Leave it loose. Tell me it's a 13. What? some rocks. Ugh. 
definitely not what I wanted. So I had to bring the jack in, jack the tank up because when I, like an idiot, popped this loose and the tank fell. I hope that didn't break nothing. But the problem is, is I ain't got no room to get my hands up in there. So what I gotta do is hopefully use another strap to pull it that way. So it comes off the frame back there with a nut. I don't know if I can get that nut loose. Cause all I'm gonna do is just cut it right here and pull from here back. And maybe I can see where it's blown out at. Let me see if I can get the line wrenches and take it off. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is get it off right here and then pull it, come up here on the frame in front of the tank somewhere and cut it. And then hopefully the bad area is forward of this bin. So somewhere's in here I could just tie it together because this bends around the cross member and then goes back up to meet the brake line on the rear end over there. So let me see if I can get that one off. So I got that off and I think I found where it was leaking. I think it was leaking right in one of those stupid clamps that clamp it to the frame. So what I'm gonna do, I can tell where it was in that clamp and it was rusting. I'll cut it right here and this will give me enough to put a swedge in. Hopefully I can run the brake line straight back to where it bends for the first time. Definitely got to get some goggles, put it back in. All right, she's out. There's the front, there's the hole. And it was in one of those clamps that holds it onto the frame. Cut it right there and just do a straight shot. Just give me a straight piece of brake line to go from there to there. That way I don't have to try to bend this part. Going back, bend this part, going back up, up to the, the rear brakes. Well, getting it out, way easy. The cargo straps, I did drop the one and the gas tank fell or diesel tank, whatever you want to call it. So I'd put a jack on it, jack it back up, but it worked out perfect that way. Now I just got to go get a new brake line and a compression swedge, two of them to put the new brake line piece in. So off to the parts store. So I'm back, I got the brake line from the parts store. I already cut the tips off. Now I need to figure out where I want to cut it within the old brake line and splice it together. I think I got a pretty good idea. I think I'm gonna do it here and here. They both seem to touch the floor at that same spot right there. Well, that one's up a little bit, but I think it's because of Bennett taking it out, but I'm gonna cut it right there. I'm just gonna replace that whole section. So I'm gonna cut it right here, cut the new one here. And now, cut this one. Well, I gotta take them and put them together, which I'll end up cutting and shortening the other end because the fitting will make it a little bit longer. Find some, find some sandpaper and clean that up a little bit. All right, so if people don't know how these work, you gotta slide the nut on there. And then this little thing goes over that. And then this goes in here. And when you tighten the nut down, it smashes this cone to where it seals around the line and where it's beveled here and beveled there, it, it seals up in there. So if you, once you put these on, you tighten them down, you can't get this piece back off. It, it's just impossible. But I still need to clean that up some more. All right, so I have to take sandpaper and clean this up. Slide this over. Then you slide the little collet, collar, whatever it's called, the swedge. Cause you're gonna slide this on there. You're gonna push this up in there. Push this piece up in there. Like that. And then you're gonna tighten this up. And when you tighten that, this nut up, it smashes that collar inside. And when it smashes, it seals up against the tube and up against these cause they're beveled. So you just tighten this nut. So this is the truck side, goes to the rear end. All right, I'm trying to put this back in. I need to find some safety glasses. So much rust and dirt falling in my eyes, I can't keep up. I'll be back. I'm back. For some reason my safety squints wasn't working. Hmm. All right, the rear part's back on. I need to get this tucked up in the frame. 
which I don't know if I want to use those clips anymore or not. But it might help it stay out of that way of the fuel tank. So I gotta cut this in. Let me show you. As you can see, I gotta cut this in. Probably somewhere's right in there. And I put that little compression fitting in there, and this will be done. Put the gas tank back in. Fuel tank, diesel tank, the tank. We'll just call it the tank. All right, time to put this bad boy in. Hopefully I cut enough off. Just stick it on there without it. it looks like I didn't cut enough. I think it'll work. Dang, even the safety goggles ain't helping me out. I don't know if I can cut how small of a piece I can cut off. Oh uh, yeah, that looks perfect. All right. So as you put this on, you gotta make sure you hold the center piece and push it towards the line. Now once that little collar inside catches, it'll hold itself as you tighten it down. But make sure you're always pushing towards the line on the center piece. So, Let's put the nut on, put the collar on, now push them together, same thing, now you want to push this line that way to the center of the fitting, slide your collet in there, crush sleeve, whatever you want to call it, and then you want to tighten it down. I can probably get this done a lot quicker, let me go get another wrench. I can clip that back in there. And it fits up in the frame. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's just barely right there. But it's in the frame. Right there. There's the frame. This one back. These little clips right here. Is that it? Yeah. This clip right here is what was keeping me from cutting it up here and just pulling it out of the frame. So I had to take a gas tank, fuel tank, diesel tank, the tank, and pull it over so I could get up there and get it. Which honestly, using the ratchet straps to hold the tank up, pretty smart if I do say so myself. And I gotta fill it up with brake fluid and wait for my son to get home and help me bleed the brakes. Hold it, you hold it. Pump it, hold it. Pump it, does it feel different? Yeah. Keep pumping it, hold it. Oh, there's a lot of air in it. I mean, it should be. <laughs> I just had the whole brake system out of it. Or brake line, rear brake line. Go for it, pump it, hold it. Pump it. Keep pumping it. I don't see nothing leaking up there, so I must have, I must have fixed that prior part. Hold it. Pump it. All right, I'm going to the other side. Pump it. Hold it. Pump it. Hold it. Pump it. Hold it. All right. Time to put the tank back in. We'll get the jack under here, lift it up, and hopefully we can get the straps in. Oh, there we go. Where's the gun? Keep going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's back in. 
actual strap thing worked. I'm not gonna put the skid plate back in. I don't think it needs it. A lot of dirt falling in my face. Well, me and Kyle got it back together. Putting the tank back in was easy. Just pushed up on it with a jack, put the bolts in the straps and strapped it right back in. Uh, using the ratchet straps to hold it up like I'd done it before. That's how easy it was. But um, I like being back out here in the garage or working on stuff and posting it for you guys. So like, share, and subscribe. Got Topic back on the road. Peace.